Okay, hey everyone, welcome back to the show. Today we're going to be discussing Star Wars The Last Jedi. However, not discussing it, because I didn't go see it. I'm probably not going to go see it. And the reason I'm not going to do that is because I think Star Wars has been, for lack of a better word, ruined. And I really do mean lack of a better word. It's not bad in any way, but it's fallen from glory. It's not what it used to be. If you told me in 2010 that a new Star Wars movie was going to come out in like eight years, and, I, and when that happened, I'd just be like, yeah, I'm not really interested. I'm just going to go wait for it on Netflix. It'll, it'll be there a while. I would have asked, what is Netflix? But um, the biggest shock would have been Star Wars, undoubtedly. So the movie I did go to see is Free Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Great pick. Pretty dark, but I mean, it's still a good, a definitely work of art, a true film, not a movie, is how I'd put it, but that's beside the point. The thing is, I was sitting there waiting for the show to start, and there was this, this couple there, and I'm just alone, forever, just trying to go day by day. Uh, but sad story aside, I was sitting there, and um, the dude's going on like, oh yeah, Han Solo, and so-and-so is layers, and they want this Freda, and that this guy here, and this why go gin and jar jar things and so on and so forth and the chick she just stands like oh yeah oh okay okay yeah like she doesn't hate it and she's gonna probably watch the movie not to be sitting there on her phone the whole time but she doesn't care about it as much as he does in this situation me as a kid was the guy and me today is the woman and this was all started back in um uh episode seven which was force awakens and the thing about Force Awakens was, uh, so when, it, when it came out, everyone was saying, oh, it's so good, it's so good, it's a great movie, it's like up there with Mad Max or Jurassic World, it's one of those new, kind of like, reboots you've seen, but they're not, they're still heartless, Cassin's just trying to grab your nostalgia box, but because they give them to people who are like, nerds, basically, who appreciate the original movie, it, it kind of shows in the art, and it does, it's much more in tune with the original trilogy than the prequels were, which is pretty ironic considering the fact that they're made by a different director, where the prequels were made by George Lucas, but less said about him the better. But it was what I would call a bathroom movie. It's a movie where I, I, I got up and went to the bathroom, and I wasn't even forcing to get back to my seat, I was there for like 10 minutes, and you can probably imagine why. Lack of fiber. So anyway, Movies that, um, they w I would not get up to go to the bathroom. I would pee in a cup if it came to it. I would wet the seat, like Silence or Captain Phillips or uh, not necessarily Baby Driver, but something like that, something that really draws you into the story and you don't want to miss a second. And with The Force Awakens, I was fine with missing... Oh, shit, I could have missed half the movie. And I think as long as I had my friend next to me to tell me, what had happened, I'd be fine with it, and I'd say, okay, we'll keep going, we'll keep going. It had, well, it had that style of the originals was captured pretty well, in fact, near perfectly. It kind of kept all the things that I'd had enough of, like, um, using Ray, it was basically just a rehash of Luke, a rehash of Tatooine, but they don't actually say it's Tatooine, even though it's obviously the exact same as Tatooine. And then a, a big planet, a big round thing in space, it blows up worlds. I mean, I didn't hate this, I'm not complaining that any of this was in Star Wars, but for whatever reason, maybe it's just bad luck, when I wanted to do something new, when I wanted him to focus on, like, the Stormtrooper, and I forget his name, he could have been, um, he would have been a great character. And maybe that's also why I lost interest, because they seem to have just moved him out about half an hour through. Um... I think that was, oh, and they killed off the main character. I won't spoil it, even though probably everyone knows, but that was just really, I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know what they were thinking. Just from a financial standpoint, they put that money in, and I don't know, maybe they could only get in for one. That sucks. So anyway, last Jedi rolls around, um, same guy who I went to see the number 7 where if he says, oh god, it's innocent, so good you have to see it, there's a big twist, I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll probably just, I don't know, just wait, they all end up on Netflix, so, um, and that was it, and that is just so strange, 
it's Star Wars. I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. I am definitely a fan, but I'm not like... Hmm, I don't really know how you'd put it. I'm just not a huge fan, but I do enjoy them. I've seen them all a couple times. They're part of, they're part of cult. They're part of the culture. They're part of something that everyone sees growing up, that everyone knows and appreciates. But for some reason, I don't know. It just it wasn't it wasn't a pissing on the legacy of Empire Strikes Back as the prequels did. But it also wasn't. A classic like a new hope it wasn't it wasn't like that episode 7 was just it was a good film probably better than most sci-fi blockbusters you get these days but um ah, that's it it doesn't leave me with a strong impact in any way if a film like um Tommy Rizal he made the room he's coming out for a new one called best friends or fiends or how it's I'm not sure how they style it, but it's best friends, best friends, depending how you read it. I'm already looking out for that movie, and it's like a year before it comes out. Maybe a little less. And that's a god-awful film. It's so bad, but it left, leaves an impression on me. If they did full three, I would go see it in a second. There's, there's talk of a man or hands of fate, and a reboot, or a very distant sequel, like Blade Runner 2049. I would go that, see that too. Because the, these films leave an impression on me, good or bad. And number seven really didn't do that. And considering that what they're doing is like a Lord of the Rings scenario, where they're gonna, or the Hobbit, it's you know, it's kind of same, it's kind of same thing. They're all shot at the same time and they'll come out year after year after year. I know they're not going to be able to adapt and change to any criticism. It's going to be all part of the same narrative structure, which is a great idea, and I appreciate that. But the thing is, if you don't like it, that's it. It's done. It's set in stone. They're not really. They might be able to edit it and chop it up, and then that's where we just want to make it crap. Show me the film is getting saved by the editing process. Anyway, it's starting to rain now. I think I've got most of my thoughts out. Again, I don't hate Star Wars, so please don't please don't come and harass me. I'm a big fan of it. It's one of my first memories as a kid when I had a oh, god awful God's sake stomach just trying to tear itself apart sitting up at 4 in the morning for the doctor to come to my house but I was watching episode 4, actually episode 1, it's the original there were no such things as the prequels, I, don't, I disowned them and the big um, uh, the little the little things that shoot 3PO no, I do do too and they get 3PO as well and they're driving along this, this thing and I thought oh my god it's real it's real, it didn't seem like a model it seemed like it was uh, on a desert planet this giant vehicle moving across Tatooine. It still feels like that. Obviously now I know it's an effect. But at the time, it was just stood out so much better than all the crappy CGI we had in the early 2000s. Decent model making and an effective use of it. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm turning too much into a technical thing. I love the films. They were part of my childhood. Again, I'm not a huge fan. It's not something like um, the Dollars Trilogy. Or... Uh, what's another one I would like? It's Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'm pretty into that there's some ones you can take or leave but still I like it I love Rogue One I thought Rogue One was really good I think Rogue One controversially better than episode 6 but um I don't know let's not let's not put like two fires out into my piss on both of them I'm probably going to watch this one and I'm probably going to go see the last one in theaters just because but I think I can skip the last gen I, I think I can just like 10 minutes of episode 7, I think I can skip this movie. And I just, I just, I don't feel the need to see it. And that is very, very strange of a Star Wars motion picture. To say, nope, I don't need it. Well, I guess that, folks, is the end of that.